what's up guys welcome back to the channel i am out here in the woods for a solo backcountry overnight this is going to be uh my first real attempt at um, camping with a proper hot stove i did try kind of like a diy sort of bushcrafty type of uh, hot stove last winter didn't uh go exactly according to plan but i made it through the night nothing caught on fire you know it was a it was a, a noble experiment so for tonight's adventure i went out and bought as far as i could tell the cheapest hot tent on amazon i didn't see one less expensive than this we're gonna give this one a try if it works i might camp more with it this winter we'll see what happens i don't have a ton of daylight left so i want to get into setting up this tent the stove that i have is definitely not cheap that was uh, sent to me by the fine folks over at winterwell uh, that make very nice titanium backpacking wood stoves so i've got that i've already done a test burn for that in my front yard so i've also got a table and chair dehydrated meal to eat for the night we're gonna drink some beers that i brought back out here i want to get this whole setup going because if this works well this is something that i will oh it's pretty this is something that i will be doing all winter long but before i do any of that i gotta take a little nip off of the old banana flask Woof! Oh, goodness sakes. <sighs> oh, that is some good old fashioned Jameson. I don't know if I've had Jameson in the banana flask on this channel or not. Jameson's a great uh, Irish whiskey. So there we go. Let's get into it. Unfortunately, I forgot to hit the record button um, when I was setting this thing up. So um, once we get it all going, I'm going to get some close-ups and I'm going to kind of explain everything to you guys. We'll take it from there. This is the stovepipe and the spark arrestor. This unfurls and then you fold it back this way. I just realized that the stove jack needs to be cut. These rings go around the outside. They represent the actual diameter of the stove. So I'm gonna use these to measure out my cuts in the stove jack. There we go. That's not a bad idea, huh?
Quick little story time here. A few weeks ago, my wife and I went to a wedding on her side of the family, about 45 minutes north of uh, New York City. We were there for a couple days, so we did um, take a whole day and hoof it around New York City, around Manhattan, and just kind of check everything out. We rode the subway, you know, we're, we're not from a, a, we're from a medium-sized city, not a, not a big, big city like that. So. So, you know, we just like saw the sites. We, we went into bodegas, we did everything. So there was an REI right in downtown Manhattan. And of course I want to go in and check out an REI, you know. Went in, bought this rehydrated meal. I've been keen to try it, but unfortunately I found that it has a tear in the back. If you know these meals, you know, you pour boiling water in, you stir them up, you close them. I've had mixed results with these. If you've been watching the channel, you've seen it. I cannot make this in the bag because there's a hole. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take the food and I'm gonna pour it directly into the kettle. And I'll just take a dirty kettle home with me. And I was planning on having coffee in the morning, but I'll just skip it, it's not that big of a deal. Let's try it out and see what we got.
Ma'am. I gotta say, yeah. Rehydrated food is always rehydrated food, but that's about as good as I've had. I've had great success, honestly, with Mountain House, everybody's kind of go-to, most famous dehydrated meals, but they're really not the healthiest thing. I know, I'm one to talk, right? You see some of the stuff I eat when I'm out here. But um, yeah, this is good. I do not mind it. Yeah, that is really not bad. Some thoughts about the tent and the stove. I already did a pre-burn with the stove, so I had one uh, evening of kind of experimenting with it already. Winterwell's just a really, really good brand. These types of titanium stoves are, are they're not cheap, but all of them. Any one that you can get that's like a lightweight titanium stove that's meant to be hiked out into the woods, they're all pretty expensive. Um, Winterwell has some of the best pricing of any of the few good brands that are out there. As far as the tent, I mean, I don't see any problems with it so far. Um, I don't consider this a full review, but um, you know, it's not on fire. I mean, it didn't fall down. Like it's got a pole, it's lightweight enough. It's no more heavy than like the other backpacking tents that I use. So I think it's fine. This is a test night. So this is the first time I've ever used it. And it's the first time I've ever gone proper hot tent camping to be honest. I'm probably gonna end up trying out other brands, but yeah, so far so good. I do want to send a shout out to uh, my buddy, Joe guy with a, a channel I've been talking to for a while now chit chatting back and forth in the comments he is you know a smaller channel he's a, a little bit of an older guy goes out and does kind of short overnight backpacking but he also does car camping he's got a really good eye for lining up his shots the main thing about Joe is he just has this very calm demeanor his Videos are very relaxing to watch. Each time he puts a video out, I think he's getting better and better. He's kind of like a Southern kind of Bob Ross type of character almost. So if that sounds like something you wanna check out, I'll link him in the description and you can go over and, and, and check his channel out and tell him that uh, Sam Banana said hi. So overall, you know, successful night. I mean, I don't know what else I can expect out of it. So far, so good. I'm going to um, finish up this food and Yeah, I'm gonna finish this food, maybe one more beer. I'm gonna wind down, and I think it's about time to get into the sleeping bag and hit the hay, stoke the stove back up. Anything crazy happens, I will definitely let you guys know. Otherwise, catch you in the morning. Mmm.
All right, guys, that is a, another one in the books. I'll call it a success. I'm learning to do this hot tent thing, and I think that went pretty well. So want to definitely get it down pat before uh, snow starts falling and we start hitting um, freezing temperatures, which uh, we were just flirting with last night. So very happy to uh, have this one under my belt. I'm ready to hike on out of here. Uh, thanks so much to everybody for watching the video this far. It means a lot to me. If you have not done so yet, please click that banana, and we're going to catch you on the next one. Bye, everybody.